hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another week of e-learning with Mr. Williams. And this week, our focus is gonna be on social distancing. Okay, so in order to understand social distancing, we need a little perspective here. So you may have heard this term, and the first thing you're like, well, what the heck is social distancing? Social distancing is a process that we all follow to make sure that the spread of the virus stays down. And why do we social distance? Well, when you talk or you breathe, you're emitting particles from your face, right? From your mouth. And that's the way the virus spreads. And so what's the minimum recommendation that the government has given us right now? Think about that, answer that question. Okay, so let's do a quick demonstration here. So this broom is not quite six feet tall, so I, I need a little bit more, right? I need about this much. So if I measure this distance here from to my elbow, that's about six feet if I add that on. So I'm gonna hold this thing right in my elbow, and the distance from me to the screen is now right around six feet. So I am now six feet away from my camera, and I can spin in a circle that is the area that I need to social distance when I walk around. So if you want to go in public, yeah, you <laughs> move this broom, but we are going to learn how to calculate the social distance of an area in any sort of space. So first, this week, we're going to need to learn how to calculate the area of a circle. We're also going to need to learn how to calculate the area of a square and a rectangle. Guess what? Where are we gonna be spending most of our time with other people? That's right, indoors. And so we need to learn how to socially distance ourselves indoors, which is a little bit different from maybe socially distancing outside. Okay, so your goal for this week is to be able to take a space that I give you, calculate its total area. Okay, so you understand the size of the space. Then, you are also going to be able to calculate how many total people can fit in that area and tell me how much area those people would take up in their socially distant bubbles. So there are circles that surround them. And the other thing we need to talk about is semicircles. Because if I'm standing in a wall, I don't need the whole 360 degree space, right? If I stand against a wall, my socially distant zone from over there to over there. So we would only need a semicircle. So we're going to make sure we talk about semicircles as well. Okay, that's it. Good luck. You have a lot of Khan Academy activities to help you learn how to do the math. You have one big project that will be due at the end of the week. So make sure you follow that schedule that I give you. There's another tutorial on all your assignments for the week. So watch that video breakdown if you need to and you don't understand. Make sure you're coming to my Google Hangouts. Make sure you're checking in twice a week. Do all those things and we can have a great time together. I miss you guys. I love it when you come and see me. So come hang out, ask questions, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.